Hi, and welcome back to another episode of 100 Hours of Hardcore. Today is the building episode. If you happen to like this video, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you missed the first episode, go check it out right now. Let's get started. Step 1. Terraforming. If you don't know what terraforming is, it is basically clearing out an area and then flattening it so it's easier to build on. I started by clearing out all the trees, and then I made an even area ready for me to build on. Step 2. Gathering resources. After cutting down all of those birch trees, I had enough birch wood, but I wanted to build with dark oak and cobblestone as well. So I headed over to a dark oak forest area and got myself some dark oak wood, and then I went to a mountain hill thing and got cobblestone to start building with. Step 3. Layout. Once I had a flat area and a good amount of resources, I laid out my build. The layout was basically made out of 5x5 five five birchwood squares in a 3x4 pattern divided with single rows of cobblestone. Step 4. Floor number 1, or the farming floor. After lining the layout with dark oak fences and gates, I planted some crops and made areas that would eventually hold animals. And I made an area to make a mine down to Y11 and Y-58. Step 5. Floor number 2, or the crafting floor. Once I built the roof over the first floor, I made stairs up to the start of the crafting floor, which is basically going to be home to almost everything crafting related, including a storage area, a crafting station, and an enchantment area. I couldn't get everything for this floor yet as I don't have enough materials to do that, but I was able to start on those and make substantial progress on the crafting floor. Step number six, floor three, the living floor. Once the floors were finished, this floor was basically almost done. The only thing this floor will be used for is for decoration and sleeping. So basically, I placed the bed and finished this floor pretty easily. Step 7. The Roof I placed the basic roof in the layout that I wanted and then I decided to put bushes all around small little farms on the roof and I made sure it was well lit with torches just so mobs didn't spawn. And I finished this floor by making a simple small staircase to make sure I could harvest the farms that I placed easily. Step 8. Exploring to find some stuff to detail with. I headed out over what I thought was an ocean, but turned out to be a big lake. And then I kept going because there was not really anything around it except for a lot of shipwrecks. And then I found an ocean. An actual ocean. Or at least I think it's an ocean. And then after a while of exploring, I found a village where I got a mending villager. I collected emeralds and captured all of the inhabitants. After a while of trading, I headed back home. Step number 9. Animals. This was the most annoying step as it literally took around 30 minutes to get all of the animals to my base. And I still haven't been able to separate them. And the final step, step number 10, was taking screenshots of my beautiful hardcore base. That might not last much longer, but who knows, it might still last the 100 hours. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. Bye!